my dab tune install video uh, I just uh, checked my email and looks like Shrek uh, emailed me out my updated file look at that one in the freaking morning this guy is a damn trooper so I got my updated file the next thing we're, we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be opening up the software and uh, plugging in the tuner I also wanted to mention that when you get the file regardless of what email client you have you're gonna click download on that file and you're gonna put it somewhere on your computer so for me it's downloading straight onto my desktop okay so my new file is now on my desktop I'm gonna go ahead and open up the my genius client okay so after you have opened up the uh, application on your computer for the my genius uh, dim sport tuner you're also going to be plugging it in over here to the USB cable to your computer now when you have everything hooked up and ready to go the, what you're going to notice is you're going to see here that these two buttons are now uh, available to be highlighted again. You are not going to download. You're going to click on Upload to My Genius. As soon as you click on that, you're going to go down to Next. We're going to select the file to upload. So this file is on my desktop. I'm going to scroll down until I find the modified file hit open okay and once the file has loaded to your uh, uh, application go ahead and hit next and it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to upload this file to your my genius device you're gonna go ahead and hit confirm okay when all is said and done you're gonna get this notification screen letting you know that the procedure has been completed successfully go ahead and close out this window now from here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and unplug your uh, dim sport tuner from the USB cable. Next part to this video you're going to be coming over to the truck. You're going to be opening up your door. We are going to plug in the OBD2 cable to the OBD2 port. Make sure it's in there nice and snug. Next step after that is we're going to go ahead and plug in the OBD cable to the top of your dim sport tuner and screw it down so it does not become loose and it powers up so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit work so let's go ahead and hit focus hit select it says writing we're going to hit writing select again shows the modified file in there switch on the dashboard remember do not turn on the vehicle just turn the key on hit OK it's gonna talk to the computer a little bit it's gonna identify the ECU this is real-time I'm not speeding this up. This is how fast this applies to the vehicle. Got stuff going on in the background. You can tell some dash lights are turning on, turning off. ECU is programming. See if I can get both shots in there at the same time. taking a little lo longer than I thought it would it's only like a 1.8 megabyte file 
but then again computers in these trucks they're like 20 years behind technology compared to everybody else thanks Toyota but these are some of the most dependable trucks out there if not the dependable most dependable trucks got my follow 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 blinking in the background I wonder if that's indicating that it's riding that file it probably is Toyota tech guys will probably know what's going on me I'm just a dumbass making a video for these guys for some for some free swag some stickers <laughs> Right, we're almost done. We got what, like two minutes doing this? Well, it's not too bad. Take a little smoke break. Smoke break. Almost there. I'm so excited. All right, switch off the dashboard. So we are going to turn off the key. Come back to this screen. Hit OK. Switch on the dashboard. OK, we're going to do that again. Dashboard is on. Hit select again. Oh, it's probably like finishing up, huh? Switch off the dashboard. Okay, switch it back on. I know this seems counterintuitive, but we're just following the directions on this tuner. Oh crap, are we doing it all over again? Probably. Oh, nope, never mind. So that's it, rating ECU completed. I thought it was gonna do the process all over again, but nope, it just switched right to that. So go ahead and hit okay. I was getting worried for a bit. <laughs> okay. A few more minutes or a few more seconds. And that's it. That's it. Truck's tuned, bro. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the key. We are going to disconnect this from the top of the tuner. So you know that the tuner will be done when it goes back to this uh, setup screen. We're going to go down to the OBD cable, wherever that is, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and don't pull it out that way like how I did. Do it the nice gentle way. Put all those cables over there. I'm going to take the key out just to make sure, put the key back in. No dash lights, no dash lights, tune is in baby. Let's go try it out. So the good thing is, is I live out here in a place where there's hardly any vehicles. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my tow haul mode. Just that uh, gives me a little more oomph. And I'm gonna fucking punch it right here. Not sure if the tune kicks in right away, but let's see. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Holy shit balls. Wow. What a difference. Oh, there's another ton, bro. Oh, no, it's Tacoma right here. What's up, bro? What up, bro? Let's try it again. This time, I'll show you guys what the dash looks like. Now I do want to note that I do only still have 87 in my gas tank. So you can see, oh, come on, focus. You can see my gas tank. I still got about half a tank of fuel in there. So this is 87. You want to get the most out of this tune, you're going to have to empty out your tank and switch to 91. But I'll show you here what the dash looks like and let's go.
Oh my god! Oh my god! 